Hallå, hallå. Katja här. Hallå, Nuneka. So nice people here. Okay. Hope everybody is okay. Nuneka. Hello, hello. I want to. Hey, Malin. Hello, Annika. So nice of pe Swedish people joining. So nice. Always so that people want to join. I I chit chat before I let people joining for a minute or so. Uh, I'm thinking to share some mindfulness uh, when you're creating like no slowly and relaxing and without pressure. How do we do that? So I want to share something with you. So hello from Indiana. Well, I can't say it, but hello, June. You're so welcome. Hello, yes, Elizabeth. I want to share you now they are like in the same color scheme and that's because um, I was doing this uh, weekend some art journaling just for me and that's how the pages look when I was finished uh, and to share with you uh, this is an old page and I was organizing my journal and I got the idea that I haven't show you how I do this so I came up with some art journal pages uh, and this one is not ready but to show you during my process it can look like that so I want to share how I do this how, how kind of way and how it can be relaxing without pressure and you know hello Marita and uh, you know that I have like papers like that because I will stick them and soon my journal is complete but to show you that I have some empty places like here and it's easy to find its place like this yeah and I'm thinking because now I only have like few pages in my journal left and uh, if they have the same color palette you see it's more easy to match because i'm a little bit like that but that was the color palette that i was working with this weekend and i want to finish my journal this one uh, that's why i have cut out some papers uh, i'm using the paper uh, I love this color combination. I have used the white stamping card paper to work with. And I haven't, uh, hey Anna, and I haven't uh, prepped it or done anything. And that's so strange why I have so bad connection on Monday evenings. But I used it and I haven't used gesso or nothing on the top. Oh, hello, Moika Moi so nice of you hope you have got the information about the class yes it's a chunky and it will be even more so i will share with you but we can look hello ariana uh, how i did this because they are oh tack snälla elizabeth um how i did this because uh, perhaps you have seen it but uh, i don't know and this is not complete and so, like this it can start but i will keep that one like that but to show you here i have some other one that will be journal pages or tags or whatever it is but i have this is background like with the same technique and some have got some layers on because this is was a very busy background so I tone it down with some crackle paste and we will add, we work on it later. I hope I will not have a bad connection. 
And you see me, I have made these almost on the same technique. Uh, some colorful. So we start. I will start. So you can be with me. I have a bunch of papers in the right size. And um, yeah, have a bunch of paper ready to share. And I will have like string. And you can have different size, like smaller one, bigger one. And I will cut in pieces like that. I have now ink, Ecoline. And it's an ink that uh, is not waterproof. So you need to have some kind of paper that will soak it in, but not completely. Uh, this one is a combination that works for me. But I have black ink. I have the string. It's a name string. It's not yarn, but you know what I mean. And you can have whatever size you have. Can I even have a smaller one? We tried the smaller one. Like that. And I have even made one like that. You see, with many tops some masking tape and like that so i will play now we take the smallest one and i believe it's a shiny there are different kinds of paintings but you can paint with strings or something so i dip it in my ink and i start moving no pressure and the, this is like mindfulness so i start like adding some movements more or less not think about nothing at all do how you feel and i think this is so relaxing it's like that and we would do some of them and i leave them because they need to be dry before i do next steps so we do some of these and i don't know the name of this technique but uh it's from china or or japan i have heard it but i have forget but we do some more and um I do something and you don't worry, don't worry if it doesn't look nice because we will do something else with it. And now I'm doing with black and that's because I really like that. So I'm doing some kind of pattern. Okay, we leave it like that. And I'll have that for drying. And you wonder, what will she do with this? We take uh, the bigger one, the thicker one, so it will get more paint. And uh, perhaps I do like rounds. Oh, I like that. Mm. And for me, this is so relaxing. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. We leave it for drying. Okay, I pull off that one so we don't have, because I can sit for hours. We take this like a many, and much more and i love that wow i don't want to paint over this whoops not more paint there and you can have like different but perfect 
much more paint. We leave that for drying. Okay, we do one more with this and then we take uh, some other color. Yes. Okay. And I set them there and set them aside. We take a new and you see no pressure. Have a bunch of paper and try this. But you can do this technique also with mm -mm -mm, distress oxide spray. So we take the pink one. I was tempted to take purple because purple is not my color. But I think we can mix purple. I do the same. Dip it here. And start doing. And I'm thinking to do like something like that. I do like the lines better than the circles. Okay. And you are thinking. Wow, what she's doing. Yes, like that. We have a pink one with, okay. Like that. I have one color and then I will Be a little more nuts because I have an idea. So oxide works perfectly. I want to have some light color. Hi Cindy. I'm doing like mindfulness here. And you are thinking oh, what she's doing. But this is for the backgrounds. Okay. Like that. So no intention, not at all. I need to do one more. I uh, 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 will have like ice brunch. No, we need to take a light color. Antique linen. It's really light, so you can see something. And I need a new string, and I take like more thick one. So you can prepare different strings, papers, and if you have oxides or if you have ink, yes, some yellow ink here and I dip it and I do paper. I want the, the color to go in the paper so it must soak in. Um, I like this paper because it have no texture but you can I'm sure you can have like a watercolor paper like that but I have for this technique I have prefer the flat surface. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Okay, you wonder now where will what she will do with this. Okay, we see, set this aside and I will explain to you why I will keep that. And here I was doing like that and then I have been playing and I will show you. So this is not finished but I will not do so much like this but I will show you we leave that for drying we start one of the black ones here so you do when you are like need to create with no pressure at all you take papers cut out take pull of your ink or if you have uh, oxides or I believe you can even use lindis uh, you can not use um, 
liquid acrylic paint because they dry and they will stay now we will find like the color and i believe i want to have oxides again distress oxide and vintage photo why not so i start with the vintage photo and i have my, like a craft mat here and i pull it on my craft mat adding a little bit of water and i will do the smooshing and if you have a lot of water it will smoosh a lot and if you have less and you can pull it completely or you can uh, smoosh it or you can be more careful i will do like that and what's happened with the ink it will go and it will move and that's beautiful with this technique so the oxide let the ink move and if you have black ink it start to move so we would repeat this until we are happy but between every layer I heat it a little bit because I find these so amazing. I love it. And this is for me. Yes, it's an ink. It's an Ecoline ink. And it's a black ink. I will show you carefully my bottle. It's a black ink. And I have like Ecoline. And it's uh, not waterproof. Okay, I have still the brown. I don't know, the dye ink, Ecoline, and it's not waterproof. It's like watercolor, Indian ink, I, I suppose, too. Okay, I do the smooshing again, and I can, like, decide where to go. So I go a little bit more up the part, and I do like that. And you see what's happened. And I think this is amazing because you get like beautiful places randomly. Randomly. You get like these. Uh, they will wet a bit and it happens. And me, I like black on my art journal pages. So that's why I have like black in the background because i think that's given an extra effect because we do layers so i think this is really relaxing and to not decide nothing you do some pages and later on you can decorate them so i'm adding and i'm going perhaps a little bit more careful yes gorgeous and drying and I think I'm happy with this because I want to add even more color. And this page, I find it because I haven't wet everything. I leave this because I find them that they have turned out amazing to put like a focal point here. I haven't decided because you can't decide yet. But only to like imagine if I pull something. Oh, it could be something like that. But no, nothing yet. Because I believe we will have a color here. I still have something left on my table. So why not use it? Yep. Yeah. We take the next. And you can take one paper at a time and to add your favorite colors. So you don't need to dry. Oh, amazing. Love it. Already love it. So I'm heating it. I like this when it gets totally randomly. And you can do this all over a page. Right now I'm using like keeping white space. But if you want to do your full page, do that. But for me, I find it like so freedom to like keep the white spots and not to know where to go. Okay, and then I clean my table. 
So pull out your oxide sprays, oxides and like that and add. Okay, I want to add a color and I'm thinking to add like a little bit green. Why not? I could add, now I have the ever green bar. So I'm spraying on my table. Thank you. Okay. Oh, bra Elisabeth. Try, try, try. And I do carefully a little bit on the edge. And wow, I love. Uh, it can get like messy in some places. If you think it gets too mushy, put up your baby white or paper towel and pull something off. But remember, some place you will perhaps uh, add your focal point, you will do some stamping, and it will not show. But look here, it gets more, and I get like color effect, like a new layer. And that's what I'm doing. I will add a little bit of the green. Okay, we go on with the green. And sometimes it gets from the black here. Pull it off the most of the black. And we will add like here. And you don't need to do like so much planning. But already it happens because I add some color. Okay, we, I love that. We do it a little bit more. To have more green. Spraying and you more spray, you much more water you have, like more of the ink in the background will soak, if that's the right word, I don't know. But for me, it's so relaxing by playing. Oh, I love that it's got so green there. We heat it a bit. And here we have a perfectly background that I can work on. This is perfect. I will add a little bit more green. Like here and here. And you don't need to decide. And like I said, if you like to do this all over the page, you do that. It's totally okay. So I'm adding a little bit here and a little bit careful because I don't want to pull it off totally, but I want to have the green. And it's get too mushy, pull it off a little bit. Like that. Yeah, you can do that too. Vattenlösning för hälpennan. Borde kunna gå alldeles utmärkt och ta en vattenlösning. Yes, you can dab. I'm used to do also that, to dab in the, like here. It depends how the look. But when I'm spraying, I get um, small, small dots. And I'm the one who wants to have the small dots. Oops, a lot of mushy. But we pull it off like that. And um, I love it. It's perfect, even if. Perhaps I will have it like that. You never know. But I am totally happy with this. Black uh, and vintage uh, photo. No, vintage photo and evergreen bar. And that's with the ink in the background. And I want to show you this one. Here you need to be really careful because it's so, so much ink. And perhaps I will not do it right now, but only to add on the edges. And I can show you how I, I will use this because it's a lot of black ink. And if you add like color, it will get like black and the other color will not show. So the more ink you have, more difficult it can be to show. So don't overdo the first time because that's what you do. Okay, we have that one. We finish that one also. And then we go over for other color. And to show you uh, 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 that I want to have like more color. And I'm thinking to add like Prussian blue. And I don't have the oxide now. I have the liquid acrylic paint. Yeah. 
to show you because we will do this but if you add like liquid acrylic paint to paint when the first one it will stay there it will not move because it's dry and it stays but it have like benefits when you add like um, liquid acrylic paint because it will stay there and it uh, if you want to add like stencil and add like modeling paste or just so it will stay white so i'm adding the prussian blue and here you need to try so you know how much you take because it gives much more color but you do the same i'm having dabbing and spraying on the top of this but i want prussian blue because i love precious blue and look a lot of blue perfect it do the same with the with the with the ink in the background and why this works fine because it is a translucent color and it has its benefit because when i add modeling paste on top of the oxide the ink uh, the modeling paste will change color i will show you soon i like that hello so nice of you to say come and say hello hope you're okay tiffany and look we have that and it gets really dark and you wonder oh it gets dark but don't worry we'll add like more layers on the top and i believe we need to have part two of this what do you think when we do like layering Oh, thank you, Tiffany. We will add on the top also. Yeah, perfect. We keep it like that. Yeah, we can do like uh, part two on this uh, because uh, now I give you like some tips. And perhaps you want to see me finish some of them. But this is also, but we need to have some light color. Like that. Okay. I have some leftovers. And it's not so much paint. We'll set that aside. I really love that. Perhaps we need to add something brown there. But you remember this? And now we have like a small spot. Yeah. And I will do like that. And here I'm pulling and I'm exciting because it was my circle. And wow, yes. I love that. Really black, but you see the ring in the back side and we will hit it. And we can add on the top of the color. And you see what's happened with the ink, it flow. But I like that. On this one we can do more, but we try to keep the circle in behind. But even if we like play, it shows underneath. And that's why I love this technique because it show and it's totally randomly. Here, perhaps carefully, carefully add like some color to add some blue or something yes take care homeschooling oh i understand you you must take care tiffany take care but i think that's a good good start to work with i have ideas for all of them really nice okay what we can do more yes i will show you we clean and it's a little bit difficult with the liquids. They will stick on the table. You can have like, what's the name? Plastic pockets. You know, you can do work on these, uh, like this one you can have on the table so you can throw them away if you want. 
Here, it's a lot of, lot of ink. What should we do? Uh, ha, ha, ha. I get something we can do. We do the string again. Ah, try with Lindy's. <laughs> yes. Uh, that would be fun. But right now, I will take the oxide. We will... Um, move it around a bit like that and to show you i can even i have something did i have some of my ash to show you in my pack um that i even can write look at this what i have done so we do that first and use the same. What have I done here? Because it can be something great. I take here and I will do like scribble. It is no perfection, but we try to get out some paint and I will like write something or oh, this didn't come pop up so much but you can only do like this the pink one oh the yellow i was surprised to see the yellow and this wouldn't stick the color oh anyway we have that yellow one yeah and that's i'm not happy with that did you see what I was seeing? This is not yellow. I have black and yellow, but you was thinking I had like a yellow orange. Was that one, Cindy, you were thinking? And here I have white ink. So that's why it's like that. But it's a ground, good base. Yeah, you can do like a four shiny's letters of course you can do um i haven't um, watched any video to do this i have like done a mistake one time ago and that's why i thinking okay maybe take uh, the orange rusty hinge and i will take a string because we have a lot of lot of black no, the yellow and the black. I will come back to that. We will show you how to do it. And now I do this again. And I do the oxide. And I will go over. And what's happened? We make like a new pattern. And so you can add layers on top of this. And I can leave that to dry. And if you're patient, this is really like mindfulness. You can leave this color to dry and to add a new. If you do smooshing on this, because it's a lot of ink, it gets like black and not show so much color i love that background just love it and we can add like some more color like that okay we dip it in the water and i'm thinking what color i will have on this we heat it but i think that's get a really creative beginning and it can be really fun to see uh, what can we do on this but I heat it a bit and we add like one other color and I realize I don't have the purple oxide here but then it will be like Halloween perhaps but yeah you can do 
that sounds really exciting to do that. Okay, we pull out a new string, take the other side, and dip it into the peacock feather. And now I go on this side. Hello, Elaine, nice to see you. And I can turn it around. And this string wasn't good enough. So I take the more thick one, you feel, because it had like an odd edge. So we take a new one. So don't be afraid. You don't need to do smooshing on each project. Mix only like that. So try to come between and when it's wet. But I will show you something. So we will add like a really exciting pattern and colors. And totally randomly. And yeah, we can do splatters. We can do anything we like. But you see, because it's so much black ink, I don't want to add water because it will only be like black. But we leave that. I need to think what to do on this one next. But I want to show you, we try this. So I will show you, we will add like this because we have it and I will add totally randomly. And I will show you what to do here like that. And I have, want to have like a lot like it. And I take the antique liner and I will do like splatters on the top like that okay now we have like three different colors and now take that off so be careful to not they will move around yes splatters but look now I will take the splatters will be something else now I take my water bottle and I spray like carefully like that on the top on this small splatter is if you have difficult to spray you can take like that and do spraying also but i have this uh, bottle that you can um, the spray bottle that you can do small small and let the colors move by itself i don't do nothing but you see what's happened with the black ink oops and i don't move it i want the colors to blend by themselves carefully and it's to feel when to stop. So we leave that, but it's exciting. No hurry, nothing, and I love that page. A little bit much black here, but that's not the problem yet. And I want to show you because it was someone said black and like the color. And I want to show you the page but where I believe this one is made on the same way. But I have like drawn not so heavy black strings. But then I had done splatters with white. It's made on the same way. These have a little bit like the of the antique linen. But we can do now the splatters. But it's made on the same way. And look. 
they will go oh uh, it will create like totally and here you can add and they will blend like that so i made the same here but splatter with the white and not so much black and i think you saw a page this one it's made on the same way but i have made like strings at the end took like big string and leave it with water and ink and drop it so it's black here and perhaps you can doodle in them with a black a white pen or something i haven't decided because it's this is for myself when i'm creating i have like no purpose and i take the time with them so here it's one and they are made on the same way and to show you this is made on the same way but i add like trying to add like some ah gold leaves good idea katie and here uh it was very dark and mushy and i tried with some um, ink with um, bronze it didn't work so fine and here i have made some rub-ons to tone it down so there are so many solutions if it's get too black and dark and if you have other ink that works fine because you can find other colors we leave that for drying a little bit uh, and here to show you here is a page it gets really mushy because i was doing and not happy with the background but it has good potential because i had like adding stencil but when you we love to see the stamping mm, i haven't done stamping this is made with water and here to show you i made the same only with oxides ink in the background and oxides and here i have add in a stencil yeah here in the stencil and then we do one like that soon so you can see but because this is uh, oxide spray they will come on the top and that can be a problem but i will show you uh, i don't find it's a problem that they are yeah this is rub-ons but this is a stencil it's a stencil with the um, crackle paste and the paste modeling paste or gesso white paste it gets uh, not white but to show you i don't mind if it doesn't get white use that for your solution look at this page i have crackle paste on the top uh, and it's dry and what have i done on the top it gained change the color but i have used we leave that set that aside because i don't want to use the heat dry uh, heat tool on that because it will change it will move around but here because it got the different color look it's not white and it can look like dirty i mean use that to your benefit so crackle face yes nice but here if it's a little bit difficult to show you but in the cracks it's uh, metallic and i don't mind if we have but i will on the top i will add like wax and here i have aged brass i put some on the finger and i use my hand as a dabber but you can put and now because it's not white and you can find it like oh i don't like it because it looks a little bit too much grungy or something like that i have a little bit of wax on the top and go carefully on the top on my paste and it gets really nicely on the crackles and then it's not a problem no problem at all that the paste are not white so go carefully and don't smooch it too much 
so i go carefully and here if you are unsecure use a brush i use like small makeup brushes but I go over and I don't mind if it goes like all around, but this gets an amazing effect. Uh, you can use this. Oh, Carmen Sita, you're so ni uh, nice. Look at this and see if I can show you, but you see how the wax go in the crackles. And that's a, like amazing effect. And you see the difference when the, it haven't gone in the cracks. So put on. And that's why I don't find it a problem when I add like modeling paste or texture paste. If you want to have, keep it like that, like me, because I like it, like it grungy and vintage. But use it. Add some wax on the top let it go in the cracks and don't mind if it goes on the background because it makes like an extra effect and this was my solution when the page is so busy to add a stencil on the top to tone it down be really nice and here you see also very busy but it's a amazing background i don't know what i will have in the focal point you see if i can say oh i see look i have something that could go here it's a uh, art of marlena one of her that it could go we can do something and it match perfectly here in the middle could go it's so easy but i wouldn't uh, do more but to only give you the idea so I think that next week we will do something more. I will show you. So you will have like a bunch of these and you do and you take your time. Uh, and this one, it had dry by itself and it gets like something uh, whitish on the top. It's amazing. And I now I can heat it for drying. But leave it and you think it's wow, it's way too busy. It's not a problem. No, 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 no. We can use it. I think we have a pink one we need to do. Yeah, we must do the pink one. Thank you, Katerina. And um, yeah, because what I have done, they have turned out. Here, I will do something with that one. I haven't decided yet. Uh, you can do. But you see here, I have added some, not make it too complicated, but to use it. And here, in the background, if you see that this is really dark one and I have worked with cutouts and layers. But in the background here, on the top of the grayish, it's a little bit like... Uh, I think it's the one blue, yeah, bird nest. We can think anything you like. Uh, here I have added the graphite paste. And even on the graphite paste, I added a little bit of wax to get some extra color because we need, it's very bluish. And that's why I have make my uh, fly not to like in a special color so you can add like different so i think we can do like some of like these pages next time but i want to so we leave that for drying and i will put them under some books or under my glass mat to pressure like that but i think we need to do like yeah we have the pink one yes we did the pink we need to have a color to this and i have the rusty hinge yes the picked raspberry and this and now i will we see if i have a pack again 
no new technique, but you know, we have this kind of packaging. Yeah, do that. I will not soon stop. I will give you this last tip. You can have like, I have a friend. Oh, bye, Cindy. Take care. Now it's noisy. Oops. You can have like plastic fruit bags or anything you like. Uh, but I have used the packaging and I make it really easy. I will do the same here, but I will spray in the packaging on the top on this. And this is oxide spray, pick raspberry. And now I have the rusty hinge. And this can be the same like smooshing, but you have perhaps a little bit more control. I spray. And I'm a little bit careful because I don't know. And I also add a little extra water. And I'm dipping on the top. Like that. And I see the oxide have been dry a little bit too long. But this can be a way that perhaps you feel you have better control. You see what's happened. It will get smooth, the pink one, but not so. So this is also to not know about the outcome. Yes, it gets smooth, but not so much. We need more water. But I think... They go perfect. So we do it again. More water. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So do that on the top. And on that one, we can do even more. On the same here, I have so much water. Then I don't use to worry too much, but because some place we will add like the focal point. And that's really playful. What do you think? What should color should we have on the top? Now you let me know. I want to add one more color. We have pink. Should we add a color smooth pink on the top of this also? Or should we have another color? Give me a color suggestion. So I can heat it and I'm thinking because this will be without black. Pink. Okay, Nuneka, we will add some pink. I will add the same pink on the top with the smooshing. I will dry heat it. And this is not my colors. Ooh. I think pink, yes. Or some dark. Mm, I was tempted to add like black or brown, but we not do brown on this project because I have so many, 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 many different things with black. So it could be nice with something that is not pink. So I have more of the pack again. And I love to keep the packaging because you never know what to do with them. Okay. And you know, you can do this with the liquid acrylic paint also. And we, yeah, I think we would try the Lindis also. We have Nuno here and she is uh, the queen of Lindis. <laughs> I am not. But I have purple, I believe. Strange. I don't like purple, but Lindis I have in purple. I think that's the only color I have. I have some magicals, I believe. But I haven't used them for ages. Okay, pink. A little bit water. And I want to be careful. So here you think you have better control. And I li really like this stuff. Yeah, 
I think so, because any color you can combinate. I could put like uh, on the top of this uh, liquid uh, acrylic paint. We put a little bit, yes, pink. And I have like put push it because I don't want to too much. And then I can move it around. Yes, I love that pink. And on the last end, when we do something, and now the cat, you remember the cat? I think the cat can be great on this project. It could go where we have the cat. Or oh, perhaps not. Why not? We have something in the background, and the cat could go here. Perhaps you have, but I'm not planning. I'm doing. And I believe this with the stamping and stenciling and everything, it could be something really great. No thing. But because Nunu is here, we try. I take a Lindy's. Uh, uh, uh. We see I have a Lindy's. And I have Starburst. I haven't used it for ages. But I have a Lindis spray. I think it's really, really old. I have even, let me see, light pink. And I don't know what color this is. Moon Shadow Mist. Okay. We do like that and we see what color we will have. Because you can use any paints you like. And um, we have the oxide in the background. And I believe we go for the darker purple. I have no. That's brown and purple. Of course it is. Because I have used this a lot. Of course it's brown. And this I haven't used because it's really dark. Okay. But we try this. And I don't know if the spray will work, so it will be dry. But we do the same. We take this here. We're spraying. Oh, it gets really purple. And spraying in water because I want to water it down. And I go on top of this one. And that was the oxide. I think... We go totally randomly. We can add even more spray. Now I get like, and this is uh, not like purple. It's like um, wine purple or something like that. Amazing color. I wonder why I haven't used it. Oh, I forgot. The purple is not my color. <laughs> Oh, we have all of us favorite combinations. Mm, that's like that. Okay, it's very purple. Okay, it's okay. We leave it like that. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's a very beautiful color, but not my color at all. Yeah, it's look like, but like vinyl on the like 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 that. And um, I could go over because I now it says to me I need to add black. But I'm thinking I can stamp with black. I can um, add like black texture paste, graphic paste or something like that. What I want to do is do some spraying carefully because I want it to move naturally. Yeah, gray or something. But you see, I'm spraying on the edges because I want it to move. And I will keep it. I will not move it because I want the edges to go. And that's how I want. That's perfect. So it goes like in the edges. And we can do something in black here in the middle. Blue teal 
what is the name of the blue teal? Uh, like smash blueberries. Ah, oh, it could be, Lena. Yeah, it could be. And Elizabeth, new colors from Lindis would be great. But the name of the blue teal? I don't know which one because I can't I can't the names from uh, Lindis. I not so. I have a lot of them. And the small one, the powders. I have uh, really a lot of them somewhere. Okay, but I think I'm happy, and I think that next week we do something. We can add. We can add, and I love this one. And even this trial, it's nothing, but oh my God, I love that. Like a doing small thing. Oh, uh, and everything you doesn't need to know. It have a backside if you change your mind, but you can always find a solution. Um, but we will add something on the top of on one of them. And we see which one we will add, and you will see. Uh, uh, uh. Where do we have one? Should we add on that one? Or... Uh, uh, uh. So now you can play and do like backgrounds. I uh, don't know where I let it to go and dry. One here. We can even do this one. So you will see. We do that one. Or that, that one. I don't know. Suddenly. That's why you have like and you do. But we shoot this one, and I have a stencil. And I really like, because this is striped, so I want to add something round. So I have that stencil. That stencil we go for. And I have some white crackle paste. And next time uh, we do something with this background so it can be dry because I don't heat dry this crackle paste. It will dry naturally. So we're doing something with them. I could have done some stamping on this too. Uh, mm -mm. So I will try to find out what what circles I want to have on this here. I want like three ones here. One big smaller one on here. Okay, that's great. So I'm taking that and now when it's drying it will be like other color. But like I said, and we can add wax on the top. So I will leave that for drying. And then we can do some art journaling on this page or on some other. But I want to have like three like this, I think. Yeah, this is crackle paste from Pina Bear. And um, now in the latest one, if you get like new paste, uh, they have changed the formula a bit, so it cracks better uh, because this is from the new formula. They have find like a new who do the mixing. So I know from the latest release, not the old pack again, they cracks better. You can even heat them, uh, dry them a little bit. Be sure to clean your stencil. And, um, oops, I will clean it when I close down. I put wet paper towel. But you see, that page, we have started. And I think the pattern that I made when it was dry, 
by itself it's just amazing and i believe we can do something fun with this and now it will come up some color here we can already see i can already see it starting to come up some greenish from the black ink but we will add the wax on the top and we do some art journaling with this um, page and perhaps something colorful also next week what do you think so we do the part two today some uh, mindfulness creativity but i really like this start so even if it doesn't look so nice in the beginning but we will change it and i will give you some tip on the way what you can use so yes part two and i already like this background hmm. so hello olga nice to see you i will stop my stream right now so you're a little bit late but it's okay it's okay i need to say to to yeah it's not a problem olga i remember i must say that when you're here now olga i miss you it was one t year ago exactly that we was in a um, uh, creative world oh my god i really miss to meet my friends it's so bad i miss to be with friends and to create and to get inspiration and to share ideas and everything oh my god it's like that it has been fun to been on big event and to see finn release products because this is the time yeah thank you olga yes next me a year we'll meet for sure nonica and um, for sure we will hug each other Oh, I miss hugging my friends and I meet to miss and I have learned so much, so much from all my uh, friends over the computer and on every year. We will meet each other. Yeah, Olga, you get me a reminder, we should start already and have like a big backpack with us to give to friends. Yes. Okay. That's a good reminder, Olga. We will have more snow here in Sweden, so it's not fun to go outside because I'm not I'm not liking the snow like that. Thank you. Hey Rika, I will leave now but you can always re-watch. But here are some of the backgrounds that I made. I even made some more, but remember to do some mindfulness creations. And um, yeah, you are so welcome to Sweden again. So, Use your mindfulness when you create your backgrounds. Use inks, smooshing, whatever you leave, like and do something. I don't know what to do with that, but it's okay. But that is already gorgeous splatter and you can do with some paper and something like that. So next time we go forward and I say, Bye bye and take care and hope to see you soon. Bye. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I will show you the next week. We will do like full pages. We do some art journaling pages next week. So see you soon again. And then I we finish my eye here. We'll see what I do with my eye. I haven't decided. I play with some page here and there. Thank you and take care everybody and see you soon and see you next week. Bye bye.